Hey, how are you doing? Well, um, today we are going to be showing a, um, a box set, and we are going to be showing you the contents inside that box set, and, uh, well, what, we're, what are we going to show today, you may ask? Well, I'm going to be showing The Wizard of Oz, the 70th Anniversary Edition. Now, um, they only make 243,000 of these, and I have number 83,243, and that's pretty nice how they label them. I don't know if you can see that. But, um, yeah, just the box is just, looks really nice. Just, just the outside. And, uh, you know, here's the back. I, it, it's a little bit scratched, but that's how I got it. I got it, um, used. But it's still in very good condition. And, um, so, I know it's kind of stupid for me to buy it used, but, you know. And, uh, yeah, this is the 70th anniversary edition. And... It's the Ultimate Collector's Edition, that's what it's like. Now, if you may remember me saying that I thought that this was a little bit cheesy in my previous channel, the Jakester 456. And it's, uh, this might sound cheesy, but it's the Wizard of Oz. Yeah, I know, what you might be thinking, what's wrong with me? The Wizard of Oz, cheesy? It may have been, kind of in a way, no, that's not, it's not even right. It's not even a cheesy movie, it's an awesome movie. I'm just really stupid. In a lot of, lot of ways. So if that set things right, I'm going to redo this. I'm going to show you what's inside the contents of the box, what's in the box, how long the movie is. You probably already know if you're a true fan, what it's rated, everything, okay? Let's get started showing you the box sets, the inside of The Wizard of Oz, the Ultimate Collector's Edition. Go. Alright, this is really, really uncomfortable, but I'm going to do the best. Alright, so you already saw the outside of the box, everything, so now let's open the box. Alright, so, there's a bunch of good goodies in here. Here's the front flap, just shows the, the, the gang, I guess that's what I'm going to call them. Uh, there's, here is the Tin Man, Scarecrow, Dorothy, the Wizard of Oz, and Cowardly Lion. So, this is the 70th anniversary and the book was probably written like in the 1800s, I can't remember when. Probably actually now, but anyway. So, I'm going to show you, we're going to show you what's in the contents of the box. So, right here, this is a nice little ribbon. There's, here you are, I'm just going to do it like that. Alright, here's a nice little ribbon thing that's flapping. Alright, so you take that out. And, this is like, uh, this is the behind the curtain. It's, that's what the book says right here. And it's the, um... It's the of production um, 1060. That's what it says. And if you look, it's a very, gr very brilliantly crafted book, and uh, and just like it's a very hard cover. So you know, it sounds really, really looks really, really nice if you were here. And just you know, open it up. Now the inside is black, but if you um, if you do the pages. You know, there's a, basically, basically this is a, this is just a very nicely made book that has a very, a lot of really good pictures in here and all of, just a lot of pre-production stuff and post-production stuff and a lot of other goodies and, and here and, you know, if you just look around, there's a lot of great pictures and everything. It looks really, really nice, and, uh, yeah, so basically, that's what that, that's the book. So, uh, wait, hold on one second. Alright, so that's the book. Let's keep going. Now, here is a replica of the call sheet from, uh... From the, it started shooting on 10, 12, 38, and it was in production for 108 days. Right, let me just go up here for you to see a little better. It was in production for 108 days, and it finished on 2, 27, 39. Now, this is product number 1060, titled The Wizard of Oz, and director Victor Fleming. And it shows all of the descriptions, the estimate... Um, a lot of other 
a lot of other things. The the week ending, the total to date, all the money that they spent on this. And uh, I don't feel like getting into it. But yeah, this is the call sheet. And it looks really... Re it's a replica to one of the actual ones. So there's that. And this right here is very cool. It is the uh, the complete campaign book of all the all the things, all the advertisements that they had back then. So if you look here, there's a lot of old, old advertisements for the movie. Here's a lot of, you know, colored sheets. Alright, so you open that up, and uh, there's a lot of cool, cool, cool things here. It took, you know, $250,000 to advise, to advertise The Wizard of Oz, and that's really, really, really impressive, I guess. Um, here are very crafted details of The Wizard of Oz. You open this up, and it shows a letter from, uh, from, I guess you would call it, um, what's the production? Um, anyway, so yeah, it shows a letter of, uh, this is the, cele in the celebration of the 70th anniversary of The Wizard of Oz. This is the, um, Ah, this is the... <sighs> Sorry about I'm, my mind's losing it. Um, this is the original, um... Um... Gee, campaign... Com campaign book. Alright, so... You, there's, there's... Here's this book in here, but I will show that in a minute. Alright, so this is what's inside. Here's a very nicely... Very nice description of all the, the posters in here. Now, this is a long time ago, back in 39, so probably a lot of you new people probably <laughs> would not um, get a lot of all this old... You know what? You know, even though if you're going to comment saying like, Oh, yeah, you know, you're not to talk, but I'm like, yeah, that's true, because I wasn't born in the thir 30, 30s. So basically, that's what's in the inside. Now, here's the book. This is the Exploitation. Right here, you can see the front cover, and the back, basically the same thing. So if you open it up, it's it's a lot better in person, I promise. If you see it, so you open it up, and there's a lot of here's a lot of very old, 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 old advertisements from The Wizard of Oz. They look really, really nice. You know, there's all these old news articles. These are this is all the colored articles. And um, all the articles from newspapers and everything—it's—it's—it's—it's it's, 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 it's literally amazing. So you gotta check that out sometime. And, and here, here's the DVD right here. But I will show you the contents of that in a very few short sec minutes. Now we will go to this little gem over here, and it's a very nice tin case. You look at the back. Basically, it's um. Just the copyrights on the back and everything. And you open this up. This is where it gets really cool. So you open it up. And it's a watch. It's an emerald watch. That, um... It's not exactly the right time, of course. But it's all green and it looks really nice. If you see the front right here. There's the front cover. And there's the clock, the watch here. And it's all very, very nicely detailed. Of the of the watch and I really I of course have not put this on because this is very 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 special and I do not want to wear this out and put it on my wrist so there's the watch all right so the last thing he, uh, well there's this is the digital copy yeah you wouldn't think that they would transfer the Wizard of Oz onto a digital copy you wouldn't really want to watch that on your tiny computer it's kind of like Avatar, you know, you wouldn't really want to see tiny ants running across your screen, but thank God they didn't do that. So, okay, so this is an envelope. You open it up, and they have really nice holographic pictures of the characters. So there's Dorothy right there, and hopefully you have seen the movie, because if you haven't, there must be something wrong with you. So there's Dorothy, there's the Tin Man, I don't know if you can see it very well, hold on. I guess their heads just move or something. So that's um, Dorothy and the Tin Man on here. And uh, on the other side, they have the other two characters. Hold on, hold on if I can just put that in there. Alright, now here is the next one. Here is the Scarecrow. 
I don't know why it won't show up on holographic. I mean, it does on mine. Oh, yeah, I forgot to just... The sh on the back, it's, ever, it's the same thing. Just the Wizard of Oz 70th anniversary. Then there's the Cowardly Lion right there. Alright, so uh, that's pretty much all that's in the box set. And um, and it, this, this, this was very special to me. I got this on Christmas. And um, it, it was very, very special that I got it. And it is very, very... Very, it's one of the best box sets out there. So, there is right. I'm not gonna put everything in there because that would be a long time. And plus, I need to show you everything about the the details of the movie. So, there, right there, is the box set to The Wizard of Oz. And I will be right back to show you the contents of the DVDs or Blu-ray. Hello, how are you doing? Hopefully, you like that. I did. You know, everyone likes a really good classic movie, especially from the 30s. But a lot of them were... Wow, I'm wearing glasses right now. I did not know that. And, um, I do wear glasses, by the way. There we are, I just took those off. Anyway, so that was the box set on the end titles of The Wizard of Oz. Sorry I did not get a good picture on it. But if you were to see it in person, it's a lot much better, and it looks great. So now, I'm going to show you... The DVD, The Wizard of Oz, the 70th anniversary, on Blu-ray. Now, I will say that I watched the transfer, and the transfer looks amazing. It's literally, it's one of the best transferred movies I have on Blu-ray, um, besides, um, or at least the old ones. Another one that I really liked was One Flew of the Cuckoo's Nest, and I also have that on a box that I'll show that in another video. But, uh, right now, here is The Wizard of Oz, the 70th anniversary on Blu-ray. Now, if you look at the sides, there's just... There's the side right there. It looks Even the side looks really, really nice. And uh, here's the back. It's a nice picture of the slippers. There's just the, some credits right there. Oh, and by the way, the, the movie is rated G. And it is 102 minutes long. And it's pretty long for... Because this is one of the first colored movies ever made, so... Alright, so that's the slipcase. By the way, I always love slipcases, so it looks... I mean, if I don't see a movie without a slipcase, then I'm really mad. Anyway, so now, here is the inside. So you take that out. And this looks really, really amazing. Oh man, that, that glare sucks. But anyway, I mean, the inside... Hold on, let me see if I can just get rid of that. There we go. You can still see a reflection, but it's better than nothing. Alright, so there's the 70th anniversary. The silver lining just looks amazing. I love it so much. And there's the the back. It says one of the most famous lines of all time. Toto, I have a feeling we're not in Kansas anymore. There's the silver. And I love how they made the silver... They made a silver case to this. Alright, so there's that. So you open it up. Bam! You can't see the special features yet, but you can tell that there's a whole lot... So, here's the, there's this first side, you take off the first side. Now this is the movie, right there. And I love on the very, very top here, you get a picture of all the characters, um, all along here. You take that out, see those, this one right there, and, uh, and there. Alright, so this is the first disc. Alright, so you see the disc right there. It looks really nice. Nice crafted disc. Let me take off the disc and you can see what's behind there. Basically, what's just here, it's just like a line from the movie. It's, um, it says, I haven't got a brain, only straw. That's the inside of that. Alright, so that's the first disc. And... I will unflip it and show you the second disc. That's right. Wow. Okay. So, oh, there's a three disc set. I forgot to tell you. All right. So this is the second disc, right here. And you see all the other characters. And hold on one second. I will show you the. Uh, be really careful taking these out. All right. So there's. The inside, it says, now I have a heart because it's breaking. 
And has, there's a very, there's a lot of sweet moments in this movie. Alright, I'm not going to show you the third disc because it's really not worth looking at. It's just one of those plain discs. But, um, basically it's just the six and a half hour long documentary about uh, Warner Brothers Studios and uh, how it came to be and uh, all that junk. And it takes a very long time to watch it. Hello again. As you may notice, I'm in a different location. And uh, right now I'm going to be showing you the contents of this disc, The Wizard of Oz. So disc one has the movie, commentary by historian John Frick. Uh, uh, op <laughs> sorry. Optional music and effects only or, or original mono tracks. Dolby 5.1 sing-along feature. The Wonderful Wizard of Oz, the making of a movie classic. The Wonderful Wizard of Oz storybook read by Angela Lansbury. Prettier Than Ever, The rest Restoration of Oz, We Haven't Really Met Properly, Supporting Cast Profile Gallery, Memories of Oz, The Art of Imagination, A Tribute Up to Oz, Because of Wonderful Things It Does, The, legend legend <laughs> the Legacy of Oz, Harold Arlen's Home Movies, Outtakes and Deleted Scenes, It's a Twister, It's a Twister, The Tornado's Test, From the Vault, The Auto Vault, Stills Galleries, Theatrical trailer gallery off to see the wizard. <laughs> That's only disc one, <laughs> and that has tons and tons of um, bonus features. Now, t disc two has more of short films and um, this really good um, documentary of the um, author of the Wizard of Oz. So we'll get through disc two. All right, disc two has Victor Fleming, Master Craftsman, L. Frank Baum, the man behind the curtain. Hollywood Celebrities, It's Biggest Little Stars, The Dreamer of Oz, 1990, these are the, um, these are the movies. Okay, these, The Dreamer of Oz, which was in 1990, The Wonderful Wizard of Oz, 1910, The Wizard of Oz, 1933, His Majesty the Scarecrow of Oz, 1914, The Patchwood Girl of Oz, 1914, and The Wizard of Oz, 1925, that's disc two. Now let me just talk to you about this three. It just says here, MGM, When the Lion Roars, a six-hour award-winning Studio Chronicle standard depth DVD. So, if you see here, these are all the bonus features we got. And basically, this is probably the, this movie is probably the movie that has the most bonus features for me. And it's, it's very, very great for me because I love bonus features and they're so great. So, uh, that was the ending of The Wizard of Oz, the box set review, and the review is great. I loved it. I give it 10 out of 10 stars. It's great. So, that was The Wizard of Oz um, box set. Um, I, I will be back with another box set view. Um, next week, I'll probably show a review of the first movie, The Spiderwick Chronicles, and talk to you about it then. So uh, until till then, I will see you later. This is the inter the internal closet, and I will see you next time. Bye.